Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to enroll in classes at Laurel Ridge Community College. We will do this through the Student Center in your SIS account. You will access this through your My Laurel Ridge account. All right, let's get into it. First, open your favorite internet browser and navigate to our college website, laurelridge.edu. Now log on to your My Laurel Ridge account by choosing this button in the top right corner of the homepage. You will log on with your credentials, the username and password that you established at the time you applied to the college. If you have questions about how to log on, contact Enrollment Services. If you forgot your password or your username, use these buttons to help reset them. All right, start with your username and your password. Remember, you also had to set up multi-factor authentication or the MFA security code. And so you'll have to be prepared to enter that as well in order to come to your My Applications page. From here, choose the SIS title, TILE, which stands for Student Information Systems. Next, My Student Information will bring you to your Student Center. Besides searching for and enrolling in classes, your Student Center is a great resource for many helpful things, including how to update your personal information, including your preferred name, email, and mailing addresses, and how to find your student ID number. You can also see your course history underneath your academic planning and academic records information. But we're here to search and enroll in classes, so here we go. You can choose class search from this drop down menu here on the left side navigation bar or by choosing this button here on the right side. Either way, you'll be brought to a search for classes screen. Now, if you'd like more real estate here, you can always minimize the left navigation tab by selecting that parallel button. To bring it back, just choose that button again. All right. Now, when you search for classes, be sure you're in the correct community college, we are Laurel Ridge, and in the correct term, which is also known as a semester. I'm looking for fall classes, so I'm gonna change that to fall 2022. Next, you'll need to know your subject code and course number code. This subject code is a three letter code that tells you what discipline of class you're looking at, English, math, biology. And then the course number is a three number code that tells you exactly what class you're looking for. Now, if you're unsure as to the subject code, you can choose the select subject button and you'll be brought to an alphabetical list. I know that I want to search for my biology science lab class first and so if I want to confirm that three letter code I'll choose B and then find biology. I see that the code is bio and if I hit select it'll populate right here. You can also just type bio directly into that subject code. I know that I'm looking for my first general biology course which is 101. If you weren't sure of the course number or you wanted to see all of the biology offerings for one given semester or term, you could leave that course number blank, hit search, and then see all the biology options. Furthermore, you can refine your search through these filters. If you know that you only can take classes at one campus or another, you can choose whichever campus. If again, you wanna see the most options available, leave that blank. I know, however, that I wanna take classes on the Middletown campus. Now, if you also know that you need a specific mode of instruction, like online classes only, hybrid classes only, or you prefer in classes only, in-person classes only, you can also choose that in your mode of instruction. I'm going to leave that blank because, pro tip, even if I choose a campus designation, if I leave mode of instruction blank, I will see all options for online and in-person face-to-face classes on the Middletown campus. Now it's recommended that you always leave course attribute and course attribute value blank for the most possible class options. Relatedly, you should always check the show open classes only box because this will populate classes that you can actually enroll in. All right, let's search. Before I see the classes available for my enrollment in Bio 101, I notice that I have two boxes at the top, a My Class Schedule box and a Shopping Cart box. The My Class Schedule box shows all the classes that I've already completed my enrollment in and therefore have a seat reserved in these classes. I had forgotten that I already enrolled in a communications course and, well, I already enrolled in a math and SDV 100 course. Okay, good thing I double checked. I don't need to search for and enroll in those classes again. And then I also have a shopping cart box here, which is my placeholder on classes that are just hanging out that I'm interested in taking. Right now, I've only got, yep, I've only got an engineering class there. All right, so I'm going to leave that there, and I'm going to look at my biology options. When I scroll down for science labs only, it's important to note that you'll be required to enroll in a lecture section designated by LEC, and then a lab section 
designated by LAB. First though, I wanna choose my lecture section. And when I see sections, those are designated by different session durations and class meeting dates and different days and times and instructors. Here I see in the 14 week term that I have in-person lecture options and I also have online lecture options. If I'm choosing an online class, it's designated by online in the room location. If I see TBA in the days and times, that means that there are no virtual class meetings and that this is an asynchronous class. If I run into an online class that also has a day and time designation in the day and time location, then that means that I will be logging on for virtual class meetings on those designated days and times. Typically, those will be held via Zoom, but your instructor will share that information with you prior to the first day of class. As I scroll down, I just want to see if there are any other section meeting times available for my biology lecture. And it looks like there is a 12 week option and a seven week option for my lecture. Whichever section you choose, make sure that you make note of the meeting dates so that you are prepared to attend class on the right dates. Now, I know that I wanna take this in person on the Middletown campus, and so I wanna choose this lecture here, which meets Monday and Wednesdays on the Middletown campus, which is designated by MC, the Fauquier campus is FC, and the Luray Page Center is Luray Page. This is the lecture I want, I'll hit select. And now I'm brought to a screen that reminds me that I must choose a lab course. I would like to do this lab on Mondays. And so I'll select that there, choose next. And then I'm brought to a confirmation screen, which confirms that there are no additional prerequisites that I need to fulfill this course. I confirm my lecture and lab, I hit next. And then I'm brought to a success screen that shows that this has been entered into my shopping cart. If I wanna view everything in my shopping cart, I can just show all. Now I see that there my bio class and that engineering class are hanging out there waiting for me to continue my enrollment. But I know I wanna add one more class to my fall, so I'll do a new search. I know that it's gonna be my first English composition course and that's ENG 111. I also know that I'm interested in looking at options on the Middletown campus and I've got my open classes checked. Let's, let's search. All right, what's available for English 101? Well, I see several 14 week options. Oh, Lou Ray Page has popped up. So that is not the campus that I'm interested in. So I will disregard those as options. As I scroll down, I'm actually wondering if there's a 12 week option for my English composition course, because that's what I would prefer. So I'm looking in the section designation and the meeting dates to look for this. Oh, and it does look like there are some 12 week options several online and one in person that meets on Fridays only. That's the one I want. I'll choose select, come to my shopping cart confirmation screen. Now there are prerequisites for this class, but I do meet them all. And the reason I know that I meet those prerequisites is because I already met with my academic advisor and my academic advisor confirmed that. If you ever have questions about which classes you should enroll in or whether or not you meet prerequisites, reach out to your academic advisor. Now I know that's the class I want, so I'll choose next. And I see that it has been added to my shopping cart. Okay, now I'm ready to continue my enrollment, and so I will view my entire shopping cart. Here's where I see my biology class, that engineering class that I had had my eye on earlier on, and this English course. I only want to enroll in my English and bio courses for the fall, so I will select those courses and continue with enrollment. Once again, I'm asked to confirm because SIS wants to make sure. And I see again, my biology class and lecture, lecture and lab, and that English composition course. Looks good to me. Finish enrolling. And then I get my green check marks that say that my enrollment has been successful. If at any reason, for any reason, you receive a red X for an error, reach out to your academic advisor to inquire why you might, might have gotten those errors. Now, I know that those classes that I'm done enrolling in for the fall, and so I would like to view my class schedule and book info by choosing this button. And now I'm brought to this confirmation that shows when my biology class, lecture and lab are meeting and the meeting dates. I see the same for that public speaking course that I enrolled in previously, for my English composition course that I just chose, 
and for that math class and SDV 100 class that I chose earlier on as well. And I am happy with this schedule and that looks good. And so now I can return to my student center and my enrollment is complete. And that's the end of this tutorial video. Remember, if you have questions about which classes to enroll in or about prerequisites, reach out to your academic advisor. If you have questions about or ha are having issues logging into your My Laurel Ridge account, reach out to Enrollment Services. Thanks for watching.